Well, good morning. Grab your cup of coffee or tea or whatever and join us for a moment of Coffee with the Pastors. Anita is joining us this morning. Say hi, Anita. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. What this one? So um, this is a story I like to tell. Uh, it's a, from one of Anne Lamott's books. Um, she tells the story of one of her friends whose adult son had died. And in the depths of grief, she was walking alongside her friend as she had to plan his memorial service. Um, and when the day came for the memorial service, Anne describes the scene of those that were coming in and gathering and sitting with her friend. Um, and she calls it the sacrament of ploppage. And I love this phrase um, because there's something beautiful in the image of just sacred presence. Um, there's holiness in having no other purpose than being with someone right where they are. Sacrament of ploppage. Ploppage is sacred because where there's mutual love, God is born. First John says it this way. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. So I think many of us um, are battling feelings of loneliness. Um, so if you're feeling lonely today, know that you're not alone. Um, and one great way to combat these feelings of loneliness is to intentionally reach out to someone else. Um, since we are being responsible by keeping ourselves separate, um, we don't need to keep ourselves separate socially, even though we keep calling it social distancing. It's really physical distancing. So what are some ways that we can offer the sacrament of ploppage even when we can't be in the same room? Today's a great day to maybe send a card, make a phone call to someone, send an I'm thinking about you text, if you have kids at home who need a creative outlet, you can have them make a few cards to send to someone. Those of you in the Oakton Church who are watching this, you've got your church directory, so maybe pick out a few names out of that today and send a note. You don't have to be disconnected even as we're physically separated. Consider creative ways to share love today and know that in doing so, you are not alone. God is present where there is love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Anita? We've got some bad jokes. All right, Anita. Why couldn't Jonah trust the ocean? I don't know. Because he knew there was something fishy about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yay. All right. She didn't get it. No, let's see if she likes mine better. <laughs> At what time of day was Adam created? I don't know. A little before Eve. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think she liked that joke at all. Uh, <laughs> you'll get it in a couple of years. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, have a good day, and we'll see you soon.